Hi, everyone. It seems that half of our nation is feeling angry and distressed and fearful since the news of this recent election came in. And I noticed that my Facebook is full of anguish posts. And we've had discussions here at the monastery and also downtown about this recent unexpected turn of events. I think it's very important to realize that as a whole, over the centuries, our nation and also the whole world has really moved in a positive direction. We've moved towards taking care of people who are oppressed and distressed and marginalized. It doesn't mean that there aren't periods where we go forward four steps and backwards three steps and forwards two steps and back a step and a half. That's the way things happen. Unquestionably, there's much, much, much further that we have to go. There will always be forces that want to drag us down and oppose us in the work that we need to do in the world. And some of those forces are internal and some are external. With our practice, we can work with the ones that are internal, with the afflictions of our body and mind that prevent us from doing the work that we're called to do in the world. It helps to remember that impermanence is a universal law. Usually we have expectations about how things will unfold, and we base our thinking and our behavior on those expectations. And when they aren't met, then uh, fear arises. And then what happens with our mind is it jumps to disaster mongering, which is never helpful. When you look really clearly, you can see that we actually have no idea what's going to happen, not even in the next moment. Our practice asks us to go forward with clarity, the clarity that is provided by don't know mind, the mind that realizes we don't know what's going to happen, but can go forward into that unknown with uh, courage and faith rather than falling into the mind that con continually worries about uh, impending doom. The best preparation for the unknown ahead is to keep a clear heart and an open mind so that we're ready for whatever unfold in the realm of cause and effect. Remember that it is our hearts and our minds that create reality that affect everybody around us and then spread out, rippling out through the world and affect the whole world. It is my prayer that these uh, unfolding events help us look into the, our own afflictions, our own afflictions of heart-mind and increase our resolve to dissolve the fear and distress that we feel within and the feeling of separation that gives rise to that fear. May this unexpected change and all unexpected changes awaken us out of the arrogance and the complacency that we tend to develop and that prevent us from taking real and effective action in the world to help right the wrongs in the world. May we all work to increase our wisdom and our compassion so that we can act effectively to help heal the human world. This is the, mesh, the, the mission of Jizo Bodhisattva in the world, to help heal the suffering of the human world. And this is what I always remember, that we practice in the good times so that we will be prepared for the difficult times.